you need to find that job that you would love doing. Sebab kita ni kerja uh, satu hari ni saya rasa kalau macam saya lah dekat 20 jam saya kerja. Hmm. Kalau kerja tu is not something that I enjoy, then life would be very miserable. Hai Nona Superwoman 2022 kita membawakan penghargaan khas kepada Tra ah, Zulera <laughs> untuk Nona Corporate Award. Zulera boleh ceritakan sedikit kepada yang mereka yang mungkin tidak mengenali Zulera secara lebih dekat. Thank you Kifi. Uh, thank you for having me here today. So untuk yang tak mengenali saya, saya sebenarnya dah berkecimpung dalam bidang science and technology sebenarnya dah lama. Uh, kalau you all semua nak tahu, dulu ni, so this was maybe about 20 years ago, uh, science technology startup ni, kataan yang tak pernah didengari, right? No, people don't know much about science and tech. But I was fortunate because my first job was in a tech company. And the best part is they were actually launching satellites, right? So I was like uh, starting my job with into high tech in that sense. Job tu beri saya peluang untuk mengenali dunia tech dengan lebih mendalam, uh, menambahkan minat saya dalam dunia tech. Lepas tu, I I've always been so amazed as to what science and technology can do. And then I I started um, you know growing in that space. Lepas tu saya masuk buat venture capital. Okay, venture capital di mana kita invest orang panggil dia modal teroka lah. Yeah. So after doing um, business development in space and satellite technology, I entered venture capital. So dari situ kita nampak lah uh, company-company yang um, worth to be invested or has got the potential to be invested. Semua tu saya tengok lah, evaluate. So turun due diligence, jumpa founders. So I really really enjoyed. Um, my job as a venture capital investor. So I think uh, through that, saya rasa macam saya dah terima panggilan lah. I knew what my calling was. Takut saya dengar <laughs> bila you cakap terima panggilan tu. Okay, teruskan. Yeah, so I I mean through these jobs, I know that this is what I enjoy doing the most. Which is, I, I tell everyone this, is important to do what you love. You need to find that job that you would love doing. Sebab kita ni kerja Uh, satu hari ni saya rasa kalau macam saya lah dekat 20 jam saya kerja. Hmm. Kalau Nampak. kerja tu is not something that I enjoy then life would be very miserable. Hmm. So you must do what you love, yeah. Uh, so I found my calling and uh, after that I guess the rest was history. I went into private equity dan kemudiannya saya bekerja um, dengan beberapa syarikat corporate, GLCs dan juga private companies as well. Siapa pula yang menjadi inspirasi kepada Zulera dalam perjalanan kerjaya you? I'm not drawn by one person to be inspired by. Saya rasa saya melihat ramai wanita-wanita internationally dan juga kat Malaysia yang berjaya. Tapi saya rasa tak cukup. There are many personalities that have influenced uh, my thought process, mungkin yang I look up to, mungkin yang I look up to internationally. Um, I of course like love Michelle Obama, mm-hmm. right? Cara ni membawa diri. Um, of course she is not um, the main leader, but she is supporting or she supported the president at the time uh, tapi perwatakan dia the the causes that she stands for benar-benar macam tu really inspires me of course locally kita ada wanita-wanita yang hebat um, i obviously grew up uh, looking at tan sri rafida aziz yes she's definitely an icon yeah. uh, i think as far as uh, malaysian female leaders are concerned she i think is unparalleled at this point yeah cara dia pada masa tu Uh, and it was internationally recognized. Her. Dan Tan Sri Rafida Aziz merupakan uh, Nona Super, penerima anugerah Nona Superwoman 2018 oh, juga. Rightly so, hmm. rightly so. Bila kita bersama dengan orang hebat, kita pun terasa hebat. 
Tapi <laughs> boleh tak you kongsikan dengan uh, pembaca ataupun uh, follower kita macam mana nak menjadi seorang wanita yang hebat? You have to find your calling. Uh, you kena tahu apa yang you suka buat and uh, pursue that, right? And saya rasa untuk berjaya dengan ap- dalam apa-apa bidang sekalipun, uh, kriteria utama I would say is determination. Ya, yeah? especially sebagai seorang wanita, uh, banyaklah halangan, cabaran that will come your way. Tadi you ada sebut bekerja hampir mungkin 24 hours per day tak tidur semua kan so macam mana you membahagikan masa you of course you kena ada time apa mean time you sure. kan yeah. uh, so wanita-wanita hebat ni membahagikan masa anyone must have um, how do you say time for themselves me time tu sangat penting so macam saya saya spend time with family which is also very important to me uh, but at the same time I will allocate some time in the weekend hmm. ataupun sebelum tidur mungkin setengah jam ke saya kata you know don't disturb me I just want to probably read a bit of a uh, do a bit of reading mm-hmm. maybe watch a bit of TV binge on something watch something mindless so you have to do that you have to do that are you a social media person? Yeah, I have. I maintain my social media account because I think it's important untuk kita ada network melalui media. Kalau tak kita tak sampailah message kita hmm. to public, to the ecosystem, orang pun tak kenal kita. So saya rasa social media ni kalau digunakan untuk cara yang baik tu it is it is very very beneficial. Mungkin you boleh bagi sedikit ya kata-kata untuk wanita-wanita yang ingin menceburi dalam bidang sains dan teknologi. Ya, kita sebenarnya tak cukup talent-talent wanita um, dalam sains teknologi. Tapi bukan saja dalam sains teknologi. Hmm. Wanita dalam korporat ni kurang. Ya. So kita perlu naikkan um, percentage of women in the corporate sector. Tapi macam mana tu? So, kita tahu keadaan itu kekurangan. Setiap kali saya jumpa, mesti ada kekurangan-kekurangan di situ. Tapi apa yang perlu question. kita lakukan sebenarnya? So Untuk saya, lah, kalau saya ambil uh, pengalaman saya sendiri, saya rasa kalau saya tak ada suami yang supportif sebagai wanita, uh, and we Malaysians or you know the Eastern culture, I think generally, we women generally values family. You know, We want to spend time with family. So saya rasa kalau saya tak ada sokongan daripada suami saya susahlah ya yeah? suami saya ibu saya mak mertua saya uh, my late father in law were all very supportive of what I do even if I had to work over the weekend or come back late or go on long trips they would always be very supportive uh, so I think that's very important so untuk wanita yang nak menceburi diri dalam Bidang apa sekalipun, mm-hmm. perlu ada support system yang strong. Mm. Very good support system and of course, uh, I think it's also important untuk uh, tempat kerja mm. ataupun government juga untuk menyediakan kemudahan untuk wanita-wanita to get the support that they need for childcare. Saya rasa sungguh penting sebab bukan semua orang mampu untuk dapatkan help kat rumah. Mm-hmm. Right? Secara kolektif, the system needs to support growth of women in the corporate sector. Peranan wanita sekarang sangat besar. Yes. Challenge. Dan untuk bersaing dengan lelaki bukannya satu benda yang mudah. Yeah. So, uh, bagaimana you rasakan macam uh, challenge tu, especially kepada lelaki pula? Macam mana dia orang sebenarnya nak membuka peluang kepada wanita itu sendiri? Kalau saya fikir balik yang gave me the platform untuk melonjak adalah male leaders. So they trusted what I could do. They saw the potential. They say, "Okay, you know what? I think you can do this." So saya rasa kalau ada lebih ramai kaum lelaki yang boleh buat benda yang sama kepada isteri, anak-anak, you know, family members, even colleagues, you know. Kalau mereka boleh sokong, saya rasa pasti kita akan ada lebih ramai female leaders around. Hmm. Apa yang you lihat pada perkembangan uh, negara kita Malaysia sendiri lima tahun akan datang? Wow. Um, saya I rasa... Ya, yeah, as a country, we have um, done a lot of things. We have uh, a strong economic footage sekarang ni. Kita fundamentals tengah bertambah baik. Ya, Alhamdulillah, kita dah keluar ataupun tengah melangkah keluar daripada pandemik 
Yeah. yeah. Um, the economy is back on. We don't have to wear our mask anymore. <laughs> yeah. Only in closed areas or mm-hmm. in crowded spaces. Uh, so saya rasa lepas ni it will only get better. Kita perlu go out and tell the world what we are doing. Mm-hmm. Right. So I think from here things will get better in the next five years. Mm-hmm. Dan terima kasih juga dari saya daripada pihak majalah Nona kerana Puan Zulara sudi untuk menerima Nona Superwoman Award kali ini sebagai penghargaan Nona Corporate Award 2022. Thank you, Kifi. So, terima kasih saya ucapkan kepada Nona untuk memberikan saya peluang untuk you know this interview today with you, Kifi. Saya rasa apa yang Nona buat ni sangat penting untuk orang kata menaikkan, melonjakkan wanita uh, dan juga memberikan penghargaan yang perlu diberikan kepada kaum wanita. So, I think great work Nona, great work Kifi um, and I wish you all the best. All the best you too. Thank you so much, Thank Zira. You. Thank you so much. Terima kasih semua. Kita jumpa lagi. That's all. Bye.